<clears throat> All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. As I said before, I am in the middle of my big office redo, but I wanted to talk to you guys today about possibly my, my favorite thing I've used in a while. I'm talking about that Jabo Wismec BF box. I unboxed this, I don't know, two or three weeks ago on the vlog video, and I have literally not stopped using it. It has been my daily, daily driver, and it's just fantastic. Want to get that out of the way right out of the gate I really do enjoy this mod it's not flawless and the Tobina atomizer that comes with it is also great but not flawless but in order to get to know both of these things just a little bit better what we're gonna do is go up close as we always do that's right quick short up closey time go <clears throat> all right yeehaw well this is the Wismac Luxotic BF box we're just gonna take a look at it from top to bottom there's not gonna be a whole hell of a lot to see here but as you can see it's like that brushed stainless steel look feels very nice and soft in the hand branded huge along the back whiz mech that I'm not eh, I'm not super in love with that I don't necessarily need everybody knowing where my mod was manufactured just kind of big and ugly but the rest of it is beautiful you have this nice clicky button that lights up you're not gonna be able to see it but it lights up behind the button and it does five clicks on and five clicks off button kind of protrudes from the body right there and it is very 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 clicky. Branded j right there, spring-loaded, 510 right there. You have this thick Ultim honeycomb looking door on here that's just held on there by magnets, but it stays on there pretty firm. It doesn't necessarily snap into place when you put it on, but it does hold in there very firmly through a combination of magnets as well as pressure. If you put the top in first, you can kind of feel it press down with the bottom here, press down, and it feels very secure. I mean, there is no play up, down, side to side, anywhere. Just feels awesome. You can see right there, Luxotic BF box designed by Jabo, manufactured by Wismec. You got a ribbon here for your battery to pull out. And then you have your juice bottle right here. And there's another door on the bottom, another honeycomb door on the bottom for filling it. And this uses the same bottle method as uh, a few other squonkers out there. You pull this down, you're going to have an arm and you're going to have a little plunger. If you keep going, you're going to pull your bottle right off. Big opening right there for you to bleh your juice into the bottle. And when you're ready to put it back in, you just put it right over that plunger and I give it a little bit of extra like that with my finger so it's nice and secure on there. Then it just slides into the mod. You put the bottom cover back on and believe it or not, there is an actual right and wrong way to do this. This tab right here has to line up with that notch right there so it has to be flipped like that. I can't tell you how many times I've just picked this up off my desk and tried to put it on here and went, why aren't you working? And then I noticed, oh, the tab, the tab and the notch, those have to line up. And for some reason, it's not centered. It's off center. Not 100% sure why they did that. I'm assuming they had their reasons. And you can just pop a battery in here. The sled is pretty clearly marked positive and negative. Boop, just like that, super easy. All around the fit and finish is pretty great. You can see that the door sits up a little bit higher than the aluminum there. It's not a ton, it's just a little bit, and it's more prevalent on some corners rather than others. See this one? This one looks like it's up higher than this one. And on the top, it all lines up really well. And I realize that is a very nitpicky thing, and when you're holding it like this, there's no way you're gonna notice that this door is just a few millimeters above this aluminum. Even running your finger across it, it's not something you can even feel. But let's also take a quick look at this Tobino Atomizer. It is a short little 22 millimeter flavor banger. Tobino Wismec right there, tiny little drip tip here, but does come with an adapter so you can use a goon tip on here if you want to. And you can pop this part off as well and take a look at the deck. And yeah, there's your little deck right there. I said deck. <laughs> so pulling this whole top cap off, yeah, there's your deck right there. It is a very simple simple design. You have airflow coming in here, airflow coming in here. You have two hex key set screws right there that are going to hold your leads in place. You have to pre-clip your leads, but it is fairly easy to just kind of drop them in right here, screw the screws down, and then I kind of bend my coil over. You kind of center it into the middle, right above that little 
squonk straw thing opening right there. And it does also come with an Ultim beauty ring as well to make it look, you know, just that much more fancy. And you know, the fit and finish on this Tobino Atomizer is pretty nice. The O-rings on the top aren't amazing, but it's not necessarily a deal breaker. They get a little bit moist, a little bit juicy, a little bit, you know, wobbly in there. But I really only notice that wobbliness when I try to test for the wobbliness, if that makes any sense. In my day-to-day -day vaping, using this, squonking this, and vaping this, that's never been an issue. Those O-rings have never been an issue. So yeah, that's kind of all there is to it. It's a very simple, straightforward little device. What we're going to do right now is I'm just going to wick this real fast. We're going to get back out to normal view. We're going to vape this guy. So yeah, that's the Wismec BF Box and Tobina Atomizer up close and personal. Not a whole hell of a lot to see. The Tobina Atomizer is a small little flavor banger atomizer. The airflow on it is adjustable and it feels nice. I just leave mine full open. The vape experience that I get from this setup is a lot like the vape experience that I get from that, you know, uh, Asmodus Luna recoil combo. It's a little bit more of a mellow vape experience. And I'm assuming this is something that people People who are into squonkers have been experiencing for a long time, but as a tried and true, like cloud chasey dripper kind of guy, this is all new to me and all very enjoyable. On the inside of this Tobina atomizer, I keep saying Tobina. It's not Tobina, it's Tobino. The name of the atomizer is the Tobino. And like I said, it is a small little flavor banger, 22 millimeters around, really short chamber on the inside, really low profile overall. It's got a little bit of a wonky deck, but it's not a huge learning curve on it. It's real simple to just drop your coils in, bend them over, and wick it. And most importantly, it just delivers flavor on top of flavor on top of more flavor. I have this loaded up with Smacks Lick It, which is a juice that I just can't seem to get enough of lately. And it tastes just beautiful inside this little Tobino atomizer. Now, even though the Tobino atomizer is only 22 millimeters around, it's not the only atomizer that you can use on this mod. I've tried it with the recoil with the squonk pin. I've tried it with that Dead Rabbit SQ. And I've tried it with that Alliance Vapor Flave 22 atomizer. And only the Alliance Flave 22 RDA allows me to use that little Ultim beauty ring included. On the inside of this Flav 22, same as the Tobino atomizer, it's a single coil, 0.2, very mellow, very flavorful. Now as for the mod itself, it could be one of the single most comfortable mods I've ever held in my life. I love, love, love the way this feels in my hand. It's just a nice, solid, compact little design. This is some of the highest quality that I have ever seen from Wismac. I, I really wish I could think of another word other than good. It just feels so good in the hand. You really can't appreciate it until you grab one and hold one. It feels solid. It feels weighty in the hand. Now this is a single 18650 unregulated box mod. So it is unregulated, but there are still wires and tactile switches and, you know, wiring on the inside. I guess it's not a it's not a full mechanical is what I'm trying to say. And I'm sorry if this is confusing. A lot of people get mechanical and unregulated confused. All mech mods are unregulated, but not all unregulated mods are mech mods, if that makes sense. And as far as the squonker aspect of this mod goes, it's great. It's got a little window right here, which can sometimes be difficult if you have bigger hands or maybe bigger fingers, or maybe you're a female and you have those large talon style nails. It's going to be difficult to get into this little opening with your finger if you have those kind of nails. Even if I hold it like this, it's hard to get get in there with just my thumb. My thumb is too big to fit into this little hole right here. Oh, so many that's what she said jokes happening right now. But it is. It's a little bit of a gripe. It's a little tiny window. I would have loved to have seen them bring this all the way around the front. And maybe cut out the complete corner of this. Would have made it real simple for squonking. The bottle that it comes with is one of those rigid, hard plastic bottles. But my good buddy Mecca101 on Instagram has a great little tutorial 
tutorial video on how you can use this Wismec BF box with a silicone bottle. I don't have a spare silicone bottle right now to do it, but I'm gonna link in the description to his Instagram video where you can do it. He does it, it looks real simple, and I can't wait to do it. As soon as I can track down a spare silicone bottle, I will absolutely be doing that. But honestly, I don't even know what else to say about this. I love it. I think it's a great box mod. I think it's a great squonker. It comes with the little flavor banger Tobino atomizer. And I've overall just had a really wonderful vaping experience with this little box mod. Jabo, Wismec, you did an amazing job with this box. I'm really excited to see where this Jabo Luxotic line goes because I get the feeling that we're going to be in store for some very cool products from Jabo soon. Now, are you going to need your vape budget hands for something like this? Eh, not really. Clicking around the internet, I found the kit for about $45 and you can get just the box mod, just the squonker for around $34. And for that price, this blows away all of those plastic, weird mech Chinese boxes that have been coming out. This, the quality of this just blows them all away. It's not even a contest anymore. And if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, is the Luxotic BF box something I would seek out and buy? Yes, without hesitation, I would probably buy multiples of them just because I like using it so much. It's unbelievable how quickly this won me over, how quickly I was able to just use it and have a really great vape experience and how much I loved holding it. it, it it feels like a part of me now. Okay, I'm gonna stop gushing about this, but I'm gonna put some links down in the description to where you can check this out if you are interested. It's the Luxotic BF Box Wismec Jabo. They killed it, they did a great job. I love it, I love using it. And yeah, that I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I promise I'm done. I'm done gushing over the BF Box. But anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping.